Hi everyone, just a quick video today on the offset screwdriver bit, what it does and how it will help you with your DIY projects. In today's video we're going to be focusing on this offset screwdriver bit from Weha and a couple of fairly innovative manual versions. I thought I'd do this video today because offset screwdriver bits are one of those things that if you've never used one or didn't have one, you probably wouldn't know it existed. And that was certainly the case with me until one of my carpenter mates, Dave, who I often work with, was using it on a project we were on together where he was fixing a screw at 90 degrees into a permit board in a very restrictive position just underneath a cornice close to the ceiling. And that's the thing about this bit. Chances are it'll sit in your toolbox for months on end without you needing to use it, but all of a sudden you'll have a job and it'll become an absolute game changer. So what does the offset bit do and why is it so useful? Well, a clever little cog arrangement inside the offset bit enables you to drive your screw home at near 90 degrees to where it otherwise would be. As you can see, it's got a hexagonal shank on it, which is designed to fit into your drill driver so that you can basically then drive your screws home in tight spaces. Now, as I said at the start, this particular version is manufactured by Weha, and I'll come on to why I bought this in a minute. It comes in two versions, this standard version and also a high performance version, which I have to say I didn't know existed until I started researching for this video today. The difference with this high performance version is this quick release stabilizer, 48 adjustable positions, and a torque transmission of 57 newton meters when compared with just 12 positions for the stabilization arm and a 14 newton meter torque transmission with the version that I've got. Now, don't be put off by the price because there are cheaper versions on the market. You see here, there's a version from Toolstation for just £6.59 and it basically does pretty much the same job and in fact this is the version that my mate Dave's got. Also, whilst the high performance version which arguably has a much better and more useful stabilisation arm is showing as £120 on the Wea website, a quick search online and you can find this version for £62 and my version for just under £50. But the reason I like this version from Weha is just the general build quality is so much better than the cheap version. Although I'm suggesting to you that the cheap version will probably do the job for you if you're only using it occasionally. Or alternatively, you get acquainted with the cheap version and you could always upgrade to this if it becomes indispensable. One of the real differences between the budget version at Toolstation and something like this is the stabilization arm. And my mate Dave has problems with his, it does keep coming loose or falling off. Basically the stabilization arm can be adjusted into 12 positions, which is really useful because when you are trying to maneuver this in tight spaces, you have to get a bit of purchase on it with the hand that's not holding the drill in order to keep that screwdriver bit solidly positioned on top of the screw. Now, you could make your life a lot easier by using Torx bits which don't require nearly as much sort of positioning and force when you're driving a screw home. But given particularly in the UK, we have this fixation still with PZ bits. For the time being, these are here to stay. Those are the ones you're most likely to be using. So the stabilization arm is very important. Now, one other point, I phoned up we have this morning and check with them because it wasn't obvious from the website but you're not meant to use this with an impact driver um, i've got to say the build quality of this is such that i have used this with my impact driver you'll hear the percussion in the video coming up shortly but you're not meant to and in fact it's not really designed for it because the collet chuck on the uh, impact doesn't accept it doesn't it doesn't lock into place so from that point of view, it's much better to use it with a drill driver. And actually the last thing you want, particularly if you're on site, as I am sometimes, is for this to fall out of the drill driver when you're up a ladder and smash into a brand new floor below. Although interestingly, the tool station version does have a better desired shank, which would enable it to lock into place in the impact driver collet. As does the Weha high performance version. So enough of the intro, let's look at a couple of jobs I've done recently where this tool has really come into its own. So the first was laying some new floorboards in our bedroom recently and I couldn't get my drill driver in at the right angle 
to power in the tongue tight screws into the joists because the last floorboard was too close to the wall. But as you can see here, the offset bit driver made light work of operating in this tricky space. First here, using my impact driver, which as I said, the bit is strictly speaking not designed for. And secondly here, using my combi drill set in non-hammer action screwdriver mode. Again, on the same room, I made a new door tread, which links in by tongue and groove to the floorboards and a little strengthening strip, which wasn't strictly speaking necessary because of the tongue and grooving. So again, the offset bit was fantastic because it enabled me to screw my new strengthening strip in at 90 degrees to the joist, rather than at an angle which would have pulled the strip down to the wrong height as I tightened it. And finally, today's job. I've got this drawer where annoyingly the little stays have come off. And so it's constantly being pushed all the way in like this. It used to have a couple of these, but as you can see here, they're really badly, they're just literally fixed on with three pins. Now, ordinarily, it would be a bit fiddly to sort this out. I've made two new little stays to go inside the drawer. Totally shoddy workmanship like this really irritates me. So I'm back with my glue gun. I'm gonna be doing a video on this in the new year. I absolutely love this gadget. And then it's into the tool roll. I love this tool roll because it's just quick and easy access to all the drill bits, screwdriver bits that you're likely to want to use for your sort of weekend DIY projects. And I've got this slightly knackered old box of Spax Torx bit screws, which I'm gonna use this bit for. And now with my little 12 volt drill drive, which I love because it's such a light tool. And now I'm going to complete the job that the kitchen company so negligently failed to do properly in the first place. Just to show you how easy it is to operate this offset bit. Look at that. I think that shows the benefit also of the Torx bits as well as the operation of this offset screwdriver bit. With the Torx bit, there's no effort and no camming out on the screws as you drive them home. And that's it, job done. So I hope I've shown you a few useful applications of this offset bit. And there are of course some other notable examples. It's typically really difficult to get screwdrivers around the edge of a door handle to get into place. And inevitably you end up screwing at an angle which is really tricky because as you drive the screws home it moves the handle around and it can become quite stiff to operate as it moves into the wrong position. And the offset bit obviously comes into its own in this situation. This video wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention some quite handy manual versions of the offset bit as I referred to at the start of this video. And I've got two to show you today. The first is this one from Draper. I found this in my local builders merchants uh, several months ago and I just thought it was really interesting. It obviously operates in a slightly different process but it's 90 degrees offset and irrelevant to this but it's got a load of attachments in the back including this bit holder that runs down the middle. Sorry, these have become a bit rusty for some reason. But if you haven't got access to your power tools for whatever reason, you're gonna find a screwdriver like this is a real get out of jail card where you're having to work in confined spaces. I'm sorry, I can't put my other hand on this to stabilize it because it gets in the way of the camera, but you get the idea. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is this. Now I bought this on Amazon for £14 when I was researching for this video. It's a mini offset ratchet screwdriver and it comes from Japan. Now this is interesting because I don't have a lot of Japanese tools. I've got that Shikonin saw for the video for which you might have seen recently. But you know, this is for £14. It feels solid. 
comes with a total of five bits and you use the bit holder to push out the bit that's in to insert the new one. It's got a direction changer so that you can change the ratchet from one direction to another and it's got this handy quick rotation knob on the front. I've just realised it doesn't have a posi drive bit but this isn't a problem because you can just insert your existing one. And as the instructions suggest on the back of the packet, being so low profile, you're going to be able to work with this in really confined spaces. Much more confined, obviously, than what we're doing here. But I like the feel of this one. And that easy rotation knob is a really good idea. So that's it for today. I really hope you found this video useful. As usual, details of everything I've used will be in the description at the end of the video, which you can access on your smartphone by clicking on the little arrow to the right of the title and on your computer by clicking on the show more button. Now, for all those lovely people out there who watch my channel regularly, you'll realise I've been posting a bit infrequently recently. Really frustrating because I've got so many videos in the pipeline. So I hope to get them rolling thick and fast over the next few months. I've got a few videos coming out on our bedroom, which we moved out of far too long ago now, and a monster wardrobe build project, all coming up in the new year. So thank you for your continued support. It means a massive amount to me. If you like today's video, do please click on the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, as I always say, it would mean so much to me if you were to subscribe, you can do that by clicking on the link here.